Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Lulu here today and today we are doing the Parenthood LP but as you can see we are not in Lily and Sophia's household. We are in the Roberts household. Her parents and her brother um, live in this household. So why are we in that you say? I am getting bored with this LP already. I can't lie to you so I needed to stir up some drama and drama there will be so as you can see um, well, I, I need to remember his name Javier does not look very happy right now he he looks like he's he's like self-assured fist slash fighty fist who knows but he doesn't look very comfortable around his parents and I can tell you it's for one reason and one reason alone we or he is in love with his friend Wolfgang. So basically what that means is he lives in a traditionally Catholic household. Um, like I said in the first episode, Sophia got pregnant young um, and basically Rosemary freaked out and so did Jose and they made her marry her boyfriend at the time, Andre, right here. So he he's wondering what they would do to him because they he, they made his sister get married even though she wasn't like ready or in love with her boyfriend at the time. And he's wondering what they're gonna do if they find out that he's gay. So he's really concerned right now and he's just like worried about that. So um Despite being worried about that, he is probably going to go on a date today just because he misses his boo. Um, he wants to become actual boyfriends with him. So let's see if we can do that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Invite can we not do dates with younger teens? Apparently not. Well, let's why don't we hang out with him then we'll travel with him how about that travel with wolfgang i wonder why they can't go on a date i could have sworn that they could go on dates um previously because i've taken my uh sim teens on dates i mean dating isn't against teenagedom so where should we go i think we will go to samai shudo and maybe we'll go to the karaoke bar. Should we go to this one or this one? I like this one better. Let's go there. So they're just going to have a cute little date and they're just going to hang out and be little lovebirds. Okay, where is Wolfgang though? Did he not come? What the heck? Maybe he just needs some time to get here. Let's let's invite him to current lot. Hey Miko, singing your heart out. Same with Akira, he's here as per usual. Everybody's singing and we suck. Okay, this is really loud for me. I don't know if it's loud for you. So I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Did you did you invite him yet? Invite to hang out a current lot. If he doesn't show up, then we're gonna go to this party. And another thing, I think um, Sophia would be ter perfectly fine with um, with Javier's lifestyle. She has no problem with anything like that. She's a very open-minded person. She always has been. She's never been bogged down by um, her belief system. She believes in love and respect. Uh, so I think that she would be perfectly fine if Javier came out to her. I think the only problem that she would have is that his um, boyfriend 
it has the mean trait. So he's not a very nice sim. And he's also part of the Renegades. So I think she would just be worried that he was getting into the... In with the wrong crowd. Okay, can we like MC cheat things? I just got MC Command Center uh, in last night's... Um... Last night's stream, so I'm like getting used to it, so I don't know, I can't do that apparently. Like, what the heck? Are we just gonna, let's just show up at his house. Teens do that all the time, right? M key, make it easier. Okay, so I believe Wolfgang lives in Windenburg. He is in this house, right? Yep. Confirm. Just with Javier. Okay. I might start calling him Javi because Javier is a beautiful name, but um, it's long. And my friend uh, used to have a boyfriend named Javier and he just went by Javi as well. Let's knock on the door. Okay. Let's see. Is he just like missing or something? There he is. Uh, get to know, even though we know everything about him. I really like this house. It's kind of like a strange shape, but it's adorable. I would definitely remodel it at some point. Is this all one bedroom and there's no wall in between it? That's strange. That's very strange. Come on, EA. But yeah. So. They're gonna maybe flirt a little. Uh, blow a kiss. And flirt. And hold hands wherever that may be. Because I think that's adorable. Reveal crush. I think you might already know. Um, first kiss. Ooh, ooh, gotta, gotta do the thing. Do, do, do. together I love Wolfgang like I just wish he wasn't mean because I don't think he looks like I don't think he would be a mean person I think he's just kind of like gloomy and creative soul he just wants to hang out do nothing whoa mess around in the bush I think we should ask him to be a boyfriend first I think that might be moving a little too fast Okay, I think his mum is sleeping. No, that's his brother. Where's his mum? His mum is sleeping in there. Okay, why don't we play on this with Wolfgang? That'd be fun. Lucas Munch is such an adorable little child, but he grows up and he looks real strange. Actually, so does Wolfgang. I'm not gonna lie, his forehead is like really big. But like, look how adorable he is. And he grows up and he looks kind of strange. I don't know if any of you have had that experience too. I'm pretty sure Sims genetics are like pretty set in stone. So I love the idea of this game room. Like, ugh, I would love to have a game room. Right now, the closest thing we have to a game room is Alex's, um, what's it called? He has a man cave. It's supposed to be the guest bedroom, but the deal was if he got a man cave, I got to decorate the whole entire house. So guess who has a beautiful home? <laughs> Me! He tried to put a, um, a group poster in the bedroom the other day. And like, I love Groot. Trust me, I do. But we have like, uh, a watercolor print curtains and uh, a beautiful black bed frame and gray, um, gray sheets and a lovely dresser and then just Groot would just be chilling there he would be kind of out of place so 
I told him like, put it in your put it in your man cave. Go for it. That that's much a better idea. Okay, so we I think that's good enough for that. I'm guessing he won. Let's let's hug. Let's hug him. Let's embrace him. I don't think we'll exchange promise rings with Wolfgang. Dude. Hello. Uh, heartfelt compliment. He's just, he's just continuing playing. He does not care. Embrace. Don't sleep at other people's houses. What are you doing? You're just ignoring your boo? Go here. Apparently he's really sleepy. I mean, it is two o'clock in the morning. Embrace him. Embrace him with all your soul. Why can't he embrace? Embrace. I will have this embrace happen. Aww, that's so cute. See, I don't think he's mean. Uh huh. Uh oh. When they hugged, his mom left the room. Did you see that? She was just like, no. Uh oh. I think. She's friends with his parents, too. Hmm. We'll find out. Okay, so it's time for him to go home. It's too early in the morning on a school day, sir. And he just needs some food and all that fun stuff. The only thing about Windabug is that it takes forever to the, for them to get to the loading screen to leave. Okay, go. To anybody who wasn't in the stream, I'm just going to plug this while we have a loading screen. I'm going to be on a collab channel called uh, Simma vs. Simma. I will link the uh, channel down below. Sunday we will have a description video coming out. And then on uh, Monday the actual uh, videos will start. So I am on Thursdays, but um, Ava is on Mondays, I think. Grace is on Tuesdays. Alyssa's on Wednesdays. Bree is on Fridays. And Kaya is on Saturdays. That could be incredibly wrong. I do know that Ava is the first one with the video going up. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You should definitely watch that. The theme for this coming week is going to be post-apocalyptic. So look out for some... Um, sim selves that have turned into the post-apocalyptic feel and then you get to vote on Saturday for who you thought you won. I think it's going to be such a fun concept. Like I said, I'm going to put the link down below for Simmer vs. Simmer and if you subscribe then you will be able to see all of our videos and vote on who you thought did the best. And uh, if you do come over from my channel, don't vote for me just because you're my subscriber. I appreciate it, but I want you to vote for the person that you think truly did the best. Okay, anyway, sorry for that plug. We're not doing anything particularly interesting, so I thought I might as well. Um, these two are so in love all the time. It's so cute. Oh, and um, I did use the MC command to make uh, Jose, is that his name? Jose. A Hall of Famer because I thought that kind of suits the reason why they have a big fancy house. He's like a Hall of Famer. He retired like he no longer um, goes to work. Let's retire him. He'll retire when he gets old. But for the, the purpose of this he's retired. And so he has high expectations for his son who is also he really wants to be a bodybuilder. He doesn't want to be a um, sport person like he doesn't want to be um a major league baseball player or like in the nfl or anything he just wants to be a bodybuilder like he really likes arnold schwarzenegger but um yeah he still has really jose still has really high expectations for his son javier so um that's why i think javier is so concerned about what his parents are going to think not only because their religious beliefs but also because um well, his dad just has such high expectations and I don't think he realizes that 
um, who you love has nothing to do with how you uh, do things, <laughs> like how you process things and how like good you are at certain things. Okay, so I think that is probably all that we should really do for this particular episode. I think everything is pretty much explained and we will see how this pans out maybe in the next episode, maybe in the episode afterwards. All right, guys, I love you so much. Remember that weird is wonderful and have a great day. Bye, guys.